We are here at Gekhard Monastery in Armenia. This is one of my favorite monasteries. It is a monastery that was hewn out of a mountain. And you guys are gonna get to take a look at it today. I'm here with my five children and my beautiful wife, Sarah. And this is their first time in Armenia and their first time to Gekhard Monastery. Follow us as I give you this beautiful tour of one of the best and most favorite monasteries in Armenia. So these are ancient Hodge cars that were carved into the mountainside here. And this monastery is believed to have been founded by St. Gregor Lusavrich or St. Gregory the Illuminator, hey guys, who was the man out. who brought the entire nation of Armenia to Christ. So here we are at the main church site of the monastery, Gekhart, and uh, you're gonna check it out, it's really amazing. Let's just take a moment to glory in this craftsmanship. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And the amount of work that it took to dig out this monastery from a mountain, you just can't fathom how much work that must have been. And these guys were the most amazing of craftsmen and artists. I am completely blown away by this monastery. If you come to Armenia, you absolutely need to check it out. It should be probably your first destination from the airport. There's not a lot of light in here, so you're not going to get that good of a view. You have to be here in person. But all of this was carved out by hand. It's really hard to get a good view, but this kind of shows you, I know it's dark, just how amazing this actually was. But you cannot even tell until you get there. When you're in person, you will see the amazing detail of this monastery. It gives you a taste of how much work it took to produce such grandeur. So Gekhard Monastery started here. They dug a hole from the top of the mountain and they carved by hammer and chisel this entire sanctuary. What is this, Joel? The water in here. Joel. This water uh, was as part of a spirit that originally the pagans in Armenia used to gather to worship at this site. Uh, but when St. Gregory became the founder of the monastery, he made this site a Christian site and blessed the water and made the water holy water and people get healed at this spring by drinking the water. Usually the water's clear, but because there's a lot of construction and recent rain, it's a little bit muddy. You may hear some singing in the background. That is an Armenian composer by the name of Komitas who lived through the 1915 genocide. His voice was recorded on wax cylinders on the Ediphone, which was an early recording device that employed wax cylinders to record the voice of individuals. And Komitas was one of the earliest voices ever recorded on the wax Ediphone cylinders. Yeah, <laughs> 
Here in this part of the video, I am trying to explain the Armenian inscriptions above the door next to the altar, but it's useless because you cannot see it in this video, hence me shining my flashlight on the inscriptions, but you still cannot see it. So, I just want to say that throughout all these Armenian monasteries, you will see oftentimes inscriptions of history and of scripture or hymns, hymnology, is written on the walls. This is an ancient Armenian custom and tradition that we see within the Armenian Apostolic Church specifically. It's something that I really, really love and appreciate about the Armenian tradition. It's pretty dark still in this monastery, but hold on to your britches because we are about to exit the monastery and you can see the outside of the monastery here pretty soon. I'm so happy you guys are watching this YouTube video and uh, following my channel. Hopefully you uh, have liked and subscribed to our channel. My wife, my children, and myself travel all throughout the world, but we have an emphasis on the nation of Armenia. Armenia is a nation that God has called us to, and we love this nation with all of our heart. We are doing our best to serve the Armenian widows, the fatherless children, and uh, the refugees from Artsakh. There's over 100,000 that were recently ethnically cleansed from their historic lands in 2023. On top of helping them financially, emotionally, spiritually, I'm an advocate for them in Washington, D.C., speaking to congressmen and senators, and have even spoken to my favorite president of all time, Donald J. Trump, concerning the Armenians and their plight. And I'm going to continue to do everything I can do to help them. Here I'm pointing out the uh, leopard and lion images that are present here in um, this beautiful monastery. And then I go on to talk about the beautiful cross or the Hotchkar on top of the altar. You can just barely see it here in this video, but it's present in every Armenian church. You will find an Armenian Hotchkar present on the altar, and I love it. Here we are outside of Gegart Monastery. You can see the outside of the monastery. It is currently under renovation. There's some restoration work being done here. And I will go in to explain a little bit about the hot cars um, and then also the bell tower and how they would ring the bells. But just take a look at this magnificent handiwork craftsmanship that we see on the face of this monastery. The stonework, the masonries, the masonry work is incredible. I love it. bell tower the bell tower has these ropes and those ropes go inside through this pulley system into the sanctuary and the priest will ring those bells when it's time for the liturgy mm -hmm. okay You can see all these ancient hotch cars that are carved here into the rock. And this was a form of prayer, actually. The monks would do this and uh, laity would even carve crosses uh, as a form of prayer and worship to God. This is a monastic cell. This is a place where a monk would have stayed in here and lived in here. Look at the beautiful view. What are these mountains called, Joel? Armenian mountains. The Armenian mountains. They are simply divine. Okay. Thank you for watching. We hope that you like this video and will share it out with your friends. We would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to share it out so that we can build our YouTube channel, get more of a following, and continue to do what we do best. God bless you. Oh,